Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! What are you expecting from the game on Saturday? I think it's just going to be a fantastic occasion. You know, for us, it's a, for a lot of the lads, it'll be the biggest crowd they've ever, certainly the biggest crowd I've ever played in front of. So I think we're just going to really enjoy the game and sort of had some good games in the past against Quinns and I, I don't expect anything less than that. Do you know that will be an incentive? Are you unlikely to freeze on the day because it does affect the scenario? Different players in different ways, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it, I it'll, be, it'll be good to see how we do, how we do react. You know, I mean, we haven't played in front of a big stand, you know, big crowd like that before, so it will be interesting. But I think, you know, we'll just sit, we'll relish it, and I think we'll, we'll thrive under it. But with the experience that you, your colleagues, have had in European rugby as well, surely that stands you in good stead. Yeah, definitely. You know, we played in some big in Leinster and Clement last year, and on this year, we played in some, some big crowds already. We have done well in those games, so I, you know, it should be, it'll be an exciting game for everyone. I think we're all really looking forward to it. I mentioned to your coach, if you need another incentive as well, you can go above Harlequin should you get a result. Yeah, I think we've seen in the league table on the weekend and that's you know it's a huge incentive to get in the top four. And you know to get in the top four around Christmas will be great for us. It's getting tight up there, isn't it? It is, it is, it's icing. But at the same, you know, it's whichever teams now really put the foot down and you know real drive for that top four place. After the weekend though, Will, it was important, you know, the, the boys have been playing well, not necessarily getting the results, so the performance wasn't as good last weekend, but you got the result and that's the most no, important thing. We haven't, you know, we've lost four on the bounce, so it was very, very important to, um, you know, to get a win and fortunately, you know, we, we did enough to do that. Newcastle brought a very a good team and they made it life really difficult for us, but, you know, we, we did enough in the end. In terms of it though, it's a big finish towards the end of uh, 2013 and we saw last year coming out of Europe, this was the time when the Chiefs really began to click into gear and get some results behind them. Yeah, you know, rugby's all about momentum. If we can get you know, another good win under our belt this weekend, it'll take us into real good stead into January. And for you, it's an opportunity to get some game time again. It's been a while since you've been in the first team picture. Yeah, it definitely has been a while, but you know, I really enjoyed it and it was good to be in a winning team. And, Control um, club. <laughs> against my old club, yes, it was good to, good to get one over on them and over on the few of the boys. But um, yeah, so hopefully I'll continue. But right across the board, you can see, I think Rob's spoken about it numerous times, there is competition for places in every position, and you in the number nine jersey is no different. Yeah, I think this year, the boys that have brought in, there's, you know, every position you've got to be on your toes and you've got to be training well, playing well, or someone else will grab that shirt off you. And, you know, hopefully, you know, this is my chance now to prove that I'm, you know, good enough playing the squad and, you know, I just want a real will you know, do well. I know we're only sort of Monday now, but uh, the homework would have started on, on Harlequins and you know the sort of threat they pose in particular in attack. They've got literally guys all over the park that can score tries. Yeah, I mean, they've got light and outside backs, all their forwards are offloaders. They've got Nick Evans at 10, probably, you know, Danny Kerr at 9. They're, you know, they're all threats all over the park, so defensively we're going to have to be you know, one of our top performances this week if we're going to stop them. And in terms of us, though, they'll probably be thinking the same about the Chiefs, won't they? Yeah, I think we, we, we both play similar sort of brand, rugby. You know, both go out there positive, want to play. So it should be a really good game to watch as well. We talked about the old atmosphere a moment ago, but potentially 80,000 people. Do you pinch yourself that this, you know, this could be potentially the biggest game you've played in, in your career so far? <laughs> yeah, so, sometimes you, you do just have to sort of look back and see how, how far you've come. So, and this will be, you know, probably this will be the biggest crowd I've, if I get to play, you know, the biggest crowd I've ever played in front of. So it will be interesting and it is exciting at the same time. And it'll be the last game of 2013. When you look ahead to next year, again, it's exciting times on and off the field here at Sandy Park. Oh, we, we had a meeting last last week about all the plans off the field, and it is exciting, and it is definitely worth sticking around. You know, if you're a player, so hopefully, you know, it's all it's all really positive. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas.